Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to protect your WordPress websites from hackers and attackers with a free plugin. It's called Solid Security, designed by Solid WP, and they are a fantastic company. It's really straightforward, and I'm just going to go through it step by step. Let's go. To add the security plugin, go to Plugins, Add New. In the search, type in Solid Security. And we're looking for the one by Solid WP. As you can see, it's got lots of great reviews. This is the one I use on all my websites. Install now. Activate. And then once it's activated, go to settings. And then you've just got to choose what type of site you've got. Basically, I'm just going to go for a brochure site because it's a simple business site. It doesn't really make a lot of difference which one you choose. Press brochure. I'm going to enable Security Check Pro. Next. I'm going to choose my own website. Again, it doesn't make much difference. Secure user account to password policy, yes. So that gives you a strong password for all your admins. Next, and then you want to authorize my IP address. So that should be the IP address you're on right now. Press next. I'm not going to turn on two-factor authentication. Firewall, turn all those on. Site checks, I'm going to turn this on. Utilities, Site Check Pro, I'm going to turn that on as well. Next. User groups, we're going to go with default user groups. And we don't really need to touch anything here, so we can leave that as is and then go next. For email notifications, I don't want to know every time someone's tried to break into my site and have that go into my main email. So I'm just going to select this user and I'm going to put in like a spare email. Like I've got one like for alert, so all my alerts go to this email address, so not going to my main account. Press complete setup. So then it will try and sell you Security Pro, but we're okay, we're good, we'll use the free version. Go to the dashboard. Okay, so now all our security options are available. Next step is I'm going to go into Tools. And then we're just going to run a couple of these. So the one I normally do is the Identify Server IPs, run that. I'm going to change the database one from user ID from one, run that. We don't need that one, don't need that one. I'm just going to leave the rest as is. Next one we're going to do is go to settings. And then we want to go down to advanced. And then we're going to go to hide back end. This allows you to put in a custom URL instead of wp.admin. So you could put in whatever it is here as your secret login code. So you could have something like my secret code so instead of typing in forward slash wp admin you type in forward slash my secret code so you can set this to whatever you want press save and that is basically all i would do on the, the security side if you found this helpful leave a comment below smash that like button and hit that subscribe if you didn't like it hit that dislike twice and thanks for watching